Uganda is the largest aquaculture producer in sub-Saharan Africa after Nigeria. Daily, tons of fish leave lakes for both the local and international markets. Most of the fishing, both wild and caged, happens on Lake Victoria, the second largest freshwater lake in the world, covering nearly 27,000 square miles. Cage fish farming involves rearing fish in a net cage or floating frame which allows free flow of water. Therein, they are artificially fed from when they are fingerlings, weighing about 0.5 to 0.8 grams, to when they mature for harvest and market delivery. Tilapia and Nile perch are the most commonly reared. Some experts think everyone should have a soft spot for caged fish, and this is why. Caged fish farming gives both the person who wants to sell the fish and the person who wants to buy the fish reliability. You know what you're going to get, at what time, at what size, and what quantity, because it is predetermined. With caged fish farming, the fish is available according to your need. What you put in is what you, is, is what, is what you get. And also, also the test. The test of caged fish is really different, you know. And fish is beautiful in a way that what you feed it is what you get. So if you feed it with good quality feeds, you, the fish will get will be as nutritious as the feeds you have used. So you can determine even what nutrients you need, you know. That, that's the beauty with fish. Like uh, you can tell me and say, you know what, I want my fish to be with such nutrients, and that's what you get. Fish farming has a promising future in Uganda, albeit it's not yet a full-blown practice among fishermen, many of who are still stuck on wild fishing. Dr. Livingstone Mutiaba is one of the Ugandan researchers on aquaculture who are working at making this bright future possible. Uh, my interest is to see how this technology is perceived by the different key stakeholders in the fish-dependent communities. One of his research subjects, Amram, a crop and fish farmer in Buvuma Island, has a mouthful on how fish rearing has made beautiful his life. Management. Yonna, <laughs> But the triumphs are not without trials. Mukama and his wife are recovering from a gross loss to wild fishers who maliciously destroyed their cage nets in 2020. <laughs> However, 
with the necessary awareness created through research on key aspects of aquaculture. Fish farmers such as Elisha, also a pastor, can mitigate like challenges and successfully grow their fingerlings. I'm a pastor, wow. but I decided to do this because I want to empower the community, not only that, but also the young people. Uh, catfish farming, I liked it because catfish, it's more stronger than tilapia. It does not require a lot of management uh, skills compared to tilapia. It can endure and it's good also on, on feed. It grows faster, though its market is a bit challenging compared to tilapia because you have to at least uh, uh, educate people about it. But it's picking up. So we like catfish because of that. Okay. As fish farmers, the biggest challenge that we face is feed and managing it. That is talking about fish farming as a whole. Because here we do cage system. Once all is done, the buyers will always be on a standby for a bite.